Hello internet, welcome to my living room. I don't know if you can see him, but Forrest is here having a bone, so if you're hearing some snapping, that's what that's about. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, my name is Aliane. I'm an actor, dancer, and choreographer here in Ottawa with a day job in the government, but I've also been on a journey of discovery with Ariel Hoop. And we're coming up to August. When I post this video, it will be August. That's not true, that's a lie. Which will mark the end of my second year of learning Ariel Hoop. Actually, my very first video on this channel was about the start of my Ariel Hoop journey and what it was like starting something like this at age 30. So if you haven't seen that, I highly recommend that you go check that video out. Now, I'm also due to change the hoop on my aerial tape. What, 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 what did she say? Um, I'll let you get nice and close here. I've got like some weird tape stuff going on. It's really sticky. The tape's also really gross and dirty. So we're gonna change it. By the way, the tape on my hoop currently is the snake tape, which is offered by Fire Toys. I personally don't like it as much as the Aerial Essentials tape. Uh, not only do I think you get a little bit more in the roll, but the weft of the tape is denser and uh, it's less sticky on the hands. It lasts longer as well. So uh, if you can, get yourself some Aerial Essentials. I'm not sponsored, but you can sponsor me. So I'm gonna start changing my tape and I'm gonna let Narration Alien give you the lowdown of how things went this year compared to last. Oh my gosh, look at the color difference. Can you see what it what it's supposed to look like and what it looks like now? Nasty. Let's start by reviewing where we left things off a year ago. While I started my aerial hoop journey in August of 2020, I spent most of that year going into 2021 in lockdown due to the pandemic. So what you're seeing on screen right now is my second class back. And while the first one was rocky, it was also really exciting because I was returning to something that I loved and I missed and I was more focused about the excitement of coming back than I was about where I was struggling. Week number two was a little different because I could really see where I had lost ground with my skills, including basics such as going from sitting in the hoop to folding over into my hip hold, which I did eventually get by the end of class. Um, <laughs> Um, barely. <laughs> it felt like starting from scratch with pretty much every single skill. Yeah, bring it towards back. Hold on. Yeah, straight back. And you can let go that bottom hand. Do I want to? Yes. Okay, I can do that. Okay. Ah. And yeah, that can be disheartening sometimes. But it's important to remember that progress isn't linear. And some of that progress was made very, very quickly. I did it. <laughs> I did it. I'm doing it. You're doing it. Put your other hand down. Another count, another count. <laughs> and then those improvements come faster and faster. Like finally getting my reverse man in the moon back two classes later. Looking over my footage, it's clear that I've made a lot of progress when it comes to strength. I will admit I was not the strongest person in my class. I didn't have a whole lot of body strength coming into this, as you can see by these pitiful attempts at banana swings. <laughs> Even now, I would say that working on my upper body strength is still one of my main focuses and one of the things I can probably improve the most on, but I'm really proud of how far I've come. I remember getting those banana swings for the very first time, and my teacher wasn't there to see them. <laughs> this is proof, Bex, that these are the best banana swings I've ever done. I specifically am filming this for you. 
I'm now able to hold myself up with one arm. I'm able, <laughs> well, at least on the right side I am. And I know this sounds silly, but I didn't realize how powerful being strong would make me feel. A lot of these moves, poses, and transitions are becoming easier to do, and I'm feeling more in control doing them. I mean, let's just take my warm up as an example. As you can see on my second practice back, I am heavily reliant on my hands to do my switches from my knee hangs and hip holds. And here is footage of me learning how to switch my hip holds um, without my hands. Why does this feel impossible? And it's really embarrassing. But now I'm able to do those transitions in my warm up with ease and I'm not reliant on my hands at all. And that was a big accomplishment for me. And having more control over my body, not only as an aerialist, but as a dancer and a choreographer, it's, it's priceless. And it's something I didn't expect to gain from this particular art form. I even discovered strengths I didn't even know I had. <laughs> I also want to talk about the role that strength has played in my flexibility journey. I have always been very bendy, very flexible, but I have discovered recently that I never fully developed the strength to really be able to hold and sustain that flexibility and get to a level of mobility that matches my level of flexibility. Uh, those two things might sound similar, but they're actually very different. Flexibility is how bendy you are. Mobility is how much you can move and control that movement while exerting that flexibility. So they're connected, but they are separate. Aerial hoop is a great sport for developing your active flexibility. Not only do you have to use your muscles to achieve many positions, but you're often aided by being able to push into the hoop as a counterpoint. So you're able to pivot and lever your legs into deeper splits and deeper bends. I think you can really see the difference with my back flexibility in particular. A big part of what made my aerial hoop journey so enjoyable this year was having such a great support system in the classroom environment. If you are inspired to give aerial hoop a go and you are in the Ottawa area, I cannot recommend Ray from Pole Fitness Academy enough. Not only is she a friend of mine, She's a very patient instructor with a really great sense of humor. She's formed a really welcoming and inclusive class environment. And so if you are nervous about starting, 
You don't have to worry about how other people perceive you or will treat you in the class because the environment is so positive and uplifting. I also recommend trying something with a friend. Emma and I ended up starting our aerial hoop journeys around the same time. And it's been really nice to have a buddy who will not only push you, but also make fun of you when you struggle and lighten the mood when things are hard. <laughs> I'm crossing this leg over. Yeah. And I'm feeding it this way. Yeah, push down onto that front leg now. Yeah. And then, yeah, that way. I've made some really great friends through doing aerial hoop. I really like all of the girls in my current level and class. This could be a great way to also meet people and make new friends. So shift this to the other side. Yeah. So crunch up to get you as high as you can to begin with. Yes. And that's what we want to do now. Keep going. Good grief. Both at the same time. Okay, so now we can try to do our little balance. Towards the end of the year, we started learning more dynamic moves like rolls and drops and transitional movements. And we started connecting the different poses and pictures together into sequences and combos. Like in dance, it's one thing to learn a specific dance step or skill. It's another to dance it. And that's something <laughs> and that's something way easier said than done when you have to focus on body placement and alignment and engaging your muscles while looking graceful and effortless. Now that the month of August is pretty much over by the time that I'm recording this, there's going to be more focus on fluidity and control and musicality, and tying all of that in with strength and athleticism. And I'm honestly hooked on this sport. I look forward to going to my classes and my practices all week. I have really enjoyed watching myself progress over this year. I probably over-documented. I had over three hours of footage to comb through for this, you know, like, 10 to 15 minute video, but being able to keep track of my progress and seeing where I started and how far I've come has really been precious. And it's a practice that I'm going to continue to do moving into my third year. And who knows what crazy sort of things I'll be doing hanging from the ceiling this time next year. Before ending this video, I want to share this little combo that I had been working on just before the end of August. I think this is a good representation of what I've been able to accomplish, and it serves as a good benchmark for my progress up to date. And considering all of the starts and stops to my aerial journey, I'm I'm proud of how far I've come. <laughs> box of chocolates and a long stem rose Everybody knows Everybody knows that you love me, baby Everybody knows that you really do Everybody knows that you've been faithful oh, Give or take a night or two Everybody knows you've been discreet But there were so many people you just had to meet Without your clothes Everybody
everybody knows everybody knows everybody knows that's how it goes everybody knows everybody knows everybody Everybody knows that it's now or never Everybody knows that it's me or you And everybody knows that you live forever When you've done a life I feel so much better now that I have fresh tape on my hoop I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this, I highly recommend that you subscribe to this channel. I post often enough. You're kidding, right? <laughs> I post all about my various theatrical endeavors, which includes choreographing, being in shows, being in movies. So if that kind of thing interests you, I would love to have you around. I'm wishing you all a fantastic day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!